here we are in, in First Day Kitchen. Um, certainly a dream kitchen by anybody's standards. This kitchen is actually designed after the French Laundry uh, in format and, and philosophy. We have different stations for, for different functions and, and different sections of the menu, uh, certainly. Uh, one, of the, one of the unique things about the kitchen, or, uh, there's, there are many, one of the unique things about the kitchen is, is there are no site obstructions except for the, the Bonnet stove and the shelves there, which allows us to talk and keep, keep a very low tone when we talk and actually communicate uh, through eye contact, which is very helpful sometimes, the old evil eye. Um, but we have the, the first course in cheese station here, and then it goes around the Bonnet uh, cooking suite. We would have canapé, fish, meat, entremetier, which is the with vegetable cook. Uh, over here is the pastry. At the pass, which is this table here, would have Jonathan Benno, who's our chef de cuisine, and one of our, one of our sous chefs helping. It's really designed so that there is interaction between the different stations, and we actually work as, as, as a team helping one another out. Uh, it, it, the format here is a prefix menu, uh, either five courses or nine courses. So it's really it's really interaction between all of the cooks and all of the chefs that that make it successful. This kitchen is approximately 1,200 square feet, which is about 100 square feet uh, larger than our kitchen home at the French Laundry. This kitchen here is designed just for the gastronomic restaurant per se. During service, all of these tabletops would be covered with 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 tablecloths, which is the same as in the dining room. That allows us as chefs to view the food the same way our guests view it. Of course, we have incandescent lighting, uh, which gives us also the same uh, color, color palette on the plates as you would in the dining room. But as all the plates go out, the chef sees all the plates going out. We see them all going out. We also see them coming back. So as the waiters and the servers are bringing the, the dishes back from our guests, they're announcing what table it comes from. This allows us to do two things. Number one, see how our guests enjoy the food. But more, more important to know when the, when, when the continue the, the process of the meal. They go into the wear washing area over here. Back over here, we have our coffee and uh, tea room, so there's no uh, interaction with the kitchen. Uh, we have approximately 12 cooks, or actually 10 cooks, 10, 10 cooks that work in this kitchen, as well as two students uh, from one of the culinary schools. So there's 12 people in this kitchen total to do uh, each service. And we do about anywhere from 85 to 95 guests a night. Okay, so we're going to walk on back to, the, to another portion of the kitchen. We have a beautiful halibut here that just came in. Uh, it's a North Atlantic halibut, which we really love. But we have some rouge over here, um, some Japanese sea bream, just a, just a beautiful, lovely fish. Look at the color on that. The other interesting thing about our kitchen is there's no walk-in. What we decided to do um, when we built Per Se is to uh, create a, a kitchen that was walk-in list. A walk-in is a central refrigerator that usually, there may be several of them that, that have different items in there. And of course, uh, everybody has to travel to the walk-in to get their products and then travel back to their workstation. What, uh, what I wanted to do was to create more efficiency and workflow in our kitchen so each station has the resources that support it. And you can see how big they are. This is actually actually taken right from the French Laundry's walk-ins. We still have walk-ins there. We're still a little bit are, are behind the time. But a walk-in, this is the exact size of a walk-in section, if you will, that was allocated to the quantity of fish we needed every day. We'll walk back this way. Here we have our butcher room. This room is kept at around 64 degrees. And of course, all the products come in here. This is our lamb which comes from Keith Martin, who is our, um, our lamb farmer in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. And he just does a wonderful, wonderful product for us. Um, and he actually had, had put my name on it, which is quite, uh, quite flattering. And then through here, we'll go back through here. Back here we have, we have more of a prep area. This is where a lot of our comies are doing work. A lot of the base, a lot of the foundation work is done here. As you can see here, we have stocks going on. This kitchen supports not only per se private dining, but per se gastronomic kitchen as well. Back through here we have our storage rooms. This is our pantry where we keep our, some of our dry products as well as our, some of our vegetables and fruits that don't require refrigeration. Actually, we want them to keep them out so they develop more flavors. Uh, back here, some more storerooms. And one here is for our, our, our pastry products which again is controlled around 72 degrees, so it keeps a, 
the chocolates in our pastry chef's fries nice and temperature control. <laughs> this is our produce box, our fresh produce box. See, we have two sections here. And again, you may notice all of the, all of the, the green tapes. Uh, every product is identified by what it is, uh, the date that it came in, and who, who checked it in. And this is not only for produce, but for everything. We walk back here. When we added private dining, we, we added on to here. Uh, and, then, and then we did one more thing. Uh, we got a little more ambitious and decided to do Bouchon Bakery uh, downstairs, which we're on the, the fourth floor of the Time Warner Center here in New York City. We did Bouchon Bakery on the third floor. So when we did Bouchon Bakery, obviously we had to create another support area to, um, to produce products for that. So we added, this, we added this area. This is the third portion of our kitchen. This area here is our chocolate room. This is where we're producing the chocolates and also make our ice cream. You can just see some of the array of the chocolates that we have here, um, as well as throughout. But you can see uh, the chocolate boxes here. This is our chocolate cabinet with all the different chocolates that we have in it here. And then you can just get a sense of the quality of the, the, and the variety of the different chocolates that we have. Uh, Sebastian Ruxell, our pastry chef, produces 54 different flavors uh, within about 40 different uh, shapes. Uh, some of them molded, uh, certainly some of them truffles. There we have coconut truffles with white chocolates. So it can get quite extensive. Back here to another section. And, and this is our bake shop. Of course, this, this was built to support Bouchon Bakery. Um, and you can see, of course, with the size of the equipment and the amount of products that we have back here. It's very simple to do that. We'll walk through here. You can see some of the breads that just came out of the oven. And Sean Coyne, who's our, who's our head baker, it bakes throughout the service every day. So in other words, he's not just baking before service and using that bread. He, he bakes, bread comes out of the oven three times, one, one at 5.30, one at, one at 8, and then one at 10 o'clock. That's three bakes throughout the night so that the guests continually get fresh baked bread. You can see, you see, you can see in our ovens here, we have some Epi's baking right now. And then, of course, out here is our receiving area. So all the products that come into, per se, are coming through this door. We also have downstairs, which I don't think we need to visit, but we have downstairs, we have the, our two locker rooms for our employees, as well as a storeroom for uh, extra glass, china, silverware, paper products. And another uh, wine cellar down there is enough for another 2,500 bottles of wine uh, we can also store downstairs. And that, that concludes the, 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 the what? The tour of per se. That's it.